Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd show you what is in Harry's plain bag. This has been highly requested and I do these every time we go away. And it's gonna be a four and a half hour flight to Turkey. Um, we have done Turkey last year, but he was only six or seven months old. This time he's gonna be 18 months old and he's at the stage where he needs entertaining and he doesn't sit still for very long so um i've been pretty organized but not as organized as last year it's been more of a rush this time i thought this might help you in case you have a toddler or a young baby there's also some activities inside that um hopefully he will enjoy and he, it will keep him amused for um quite some time so yeah let's get into it Okay, so I thought I'd mention that he hasn't got his own seat. I think if they're under two years old, then they don't get their seat unless you pay for it. So he will be sitting on me and Paul's lap during the duration of the flight. Um, and he doesn't get his own carry-on bag. So this is technically his bag, but it's my backpack. The reason why I'm bringing a big backpack like this is because he has a backpack but it's pretty small and you can't get too much in there um, and I needed some kind of like sturdy backpack. This was from Argos and it was by Puma. I will leave it linked down below but it's such good size and obviously I'll be the one carrying it. Um, and then also I'm going to put a few things of mine in there such as phone, money, passports all that sort of stuff uh, but this is Harry's plane bag there's a few things I haven't put inside the plane bag yet because obviously we are using them such as bottles Harry still loves his um, bottles of milk but he only has one in the morning and one in the evening but sometimes has one during the day for his nap what I love about this backpack obviously it has the side pockets here so you can put a water bottle or baby bottles anything like that we will be bringing two empty baby bottles and then when we get through security we're going to head to Boots and buy the ready-made formula um, and then that will be him set to go we're also bringing a little hoodie for him a blanket the zip bit here at the front is going to be stuff for me so at the moment i just have my purse in there the passports um i'm going to be adding a few more stuff in there that i need i've got harry's asthma pump um, and then I have a spare dummy but there will be a few more things added to this pocket here okay so this is what the main section looks like it's really really big inside which is ideal um, and then in the kind of like front bit here are his activities which I'm going to show you so um, I've been doing a lot of research and looking at YouTube videos all about activities that may help Harry sit there and be amused uh, we'll see how it goes it might not work out but yeah so I'm going to show you the activities that I've done I have got them all in little sandwich ziplock bags which I bought from Home Bargains and the first ziplock bag is play-doh and the little stamp cutters put them in little zip ziplock bags is because everything's got its own place and I can just whip out one of the activities um, and then it can all go inside the sandwich bag afterwards and you can also use these uh, once we're at the hotel or I can bring some out to dinner with us so this one has just got a bunch of play-doh cutters and stamps that he can use and then he also has a, a tub of play-doh there as well so um I haven't actually given Play-Doh to Harry yet because he is the type of boy that will just put it straight into his mouth. So um, we'll see how this goes. It might be an absolute nightmare, but it is a massive hit with Ellie. The second activity are these little slinkies. These are mini slinkies. I got these from Poundland and they are in the party bag filler section. And they're just basically little mini slinkies in all different colours and I thought he would be quite happily sitting there playing with the slinkies <laughs> if not Ellie will, Ellie will absolutely love these okay the third activity is this one here I'm going to have to put my bag down for this so in this 
activity bag we have a spice jar now obviously I've took all the spices out and washed it thoroughly and then what you want to have is one of these spice jars that have the openings like this so the first opening is this wide one and then you have the holes in the second one and then he can put pom-poms inside the spice racks I've just put a couple in there or if you get some pipe cleaners like this I've got a whole bunch of pipe cleaners hopefully he will be quite happy poking the pipe cleaners through the spice jar so putting them in and out we'll see he might not find this interesting but um, I know little kids love doing things like this and it's good for their fine motor skills as well so yeah there's a little activity there he can also put pom-poms in there there's so many things you can do uh, but for his age I thought pipe cleaners would be more ideal so yeah that is the activity the next activity is in this ziplock bag and he is really into this at the moment and it's basically nuts and bolts obviously toy version um, so there's like little nuts and screws there Ooh. And then what he loves doing is getting his plastic screwdriver and he really enjoys like turning them and screwing them. He's really, really into this. Um, and then he also has some, I think these are called pliers, uh, pliers there so he can kind of grip. And uh, yeah, he, this will keep him busy hopefully for quite some time. But because it's plastic, I thought I'd bring it with me. The next activity is from a lovely Instagram account called Make Sense 19 I will leave them linked down below. I put a post on Insta stories saying, has anyone got any tips for a baby on the flight? And this lovely lady got in touch and said she made these. They're great for sensory and also their senses. So um, touch, feel and see and even though these are more aimed for babies i know that harry really enjoys these things this is a teething ring and then it has these rainbow threads hanging down and he will love looking at the colors waving it about and swishing it and also he will love chewing on it still because he has got his back teeth coming in he's always got something in his mouth so i thought because he hasn't seen this before and it's brand new i'll bring it on the plane with us and um yeah hopefully it will keep him amused but i'll leave all links down below she does all different colors but i went for the rainbow because i just thought it was really fun and bright and yeah such a lovely little idea if you have got little ones next two activities are little pom-poms you can see there and then i also have some cupcake cases in here I probably will take them out of the packet, but they do get squashed. The silicone ones will probably work better than the paper ones, but I couldn't grab any in the pound shop, and I just thought they're probably going to get ruined anyway, and it's just for the flight, so it wasn't a big deal. They were like a pound or even less, I think. These are just your standard paper cupcake cases that look like that. And I thought the lap tray of the plane, I thought he could get them all out and line them up. He really enjoys things like that. And then he can also put things inside, like little pom-poms, so he can put a few of them inside each one. And um, yeah, he loves kind of like getting things in and out. That is, that's what he's really into at the moment. So um, yeah, hopefully he'll really enjoy this activity. And then like I said, if they do get ruined, then I can just chuck them away. There's quite a few here, so there'll be some for on the way back as well. The next activity are these stacking cups from the pound shop. These are gonna be great for the plane, but they're also gonna be great for the swim pool and like bath time in the hotel. And they're basically just stacking cups um, where he can learn kind of like biggest to smallest and um, I think if you do put water in them they kind of like the water spiles out I'm not too sure um, but yeah he hasn't seen these all this stuff is new to him so he is going to be very very excited to see what's inside all these activity bags this activity bag has just a few really cheap little toy cars these are new ones we have got quite a lot of toy cars but these are like the mini versions and I thought again on the lap tray he can just kind of like whiz them up and down on the lap tray and because they're new he 
he would be like, oh, new toy, I haven't seen this before. Next activity are these plastic balls. I got these from Amazon. I think they're called Airflow balls or something. Um, and they're plastic, really, really light, and they've got holes in them. So what I thought a good activity for this would be is I've got these little, um, they're like little strings, plastic strings. Um, this came in a jewellery set with Ellie. So obviously you put the beads onto the string and then make like a bracelet or necklace. Um, but I thought these would be really good to kind of, you know, teach him to poke them through the holes. Um, and he can make different patterns. There's all different colours as well. If you can see there, Ellie might enjoy this as well because um, she kind of likes things that challenges her. So, um, yeah, it's kind of going to be for both of them. But, yeah, you just basically pop it through the hole and you can make, like, all different patterns and stuff. Um, and, again, really inexpensive. I had these laying about in the house and these were from Amazon. But you could probably get them from the pound shop. Next activity is these sticky tabs. So I've got these from Home Bargains, they're just sticky tabs and it also comes with a little note tab as well. These were super cheap, I think they were like 40p. And again, if Ellie, um, if Harry's not into this, Ellie will really, really like this. But yeah, what kids don't like sticky things and putting things off and on and sticking them onto things. Um, so yeah, these are just basically little tabs that you can pull off. I'm going to do one. So he can pull them off and then stick them onto things. And yeah, probably be really messy and they'll probably be absolutely everywhere. But if it's going to keep him entertained, then I am not fussed. But yeah, these are really sweet little um, cat ones as well. So yeah, it also has a, I think there's a magnet on the back, which is really cool. And then the last activity are just toys from home. And these are things that he really enjoys playing with. And I can take a few things like this to the restaurant with us. Some of these are Ellie's stuff, um, but they kind of share anyway. It's just a little plastic phone. And if you press this button here, it flips up. Really cheap. It's probably going to break. Uh, but yeah, we've got that. We've got a little flip phone that makes noises. We have two dinosaur little figures. He is really into fidget spinners. He absolutely loves them and he's quite good at it at his age. So um, yeah, I've just got two fidget spinners there. We've got a little Thomas Tank train here and his favourite car, which is this um, orange Lamborghini, I think it is. Um, yeah, that's his favourite one at home. So I thought I'd bring that with us. Um, and then the next bit of the bag is this bit. So it has a little Velcro strap. And I think this is for putting your laptop in. But I have some stuff kept together here nice and safe. So the first thing is this little Water Magic Farm book here. And basically you fill this pen with water. So I'll fill that up because we always get a bottle of water anyway for the aeroplane. So you just put water in this magic pen here. And it kind of like colours in, but it, you can use it over and over again. So it dries and then you can use it and the colour appears. Um, so hopefully he will like this. And it also means that it's mess free as well. So, you know, it's not going to be too messy. Um, they do all different types, but this is the farm version. Also has some stickers because what child doesn't love stickers? Um, so he's just got three sheets of stickers um, that he can stick onto things. And I have like a colouring book for him so he can stick it onto there. I have this chalkboard. Now this is for both of them. Um, so whoever kind of wants it or they can take turns. This was from Poundland. So it was only £1. It's a really small size as well so great for travel it fits in the backpack perfectly and it also comes with chalk and a eraser as well i have one coloring book for harry uh, this is just from home bargains and it also comes with some pencils as well um and yeah it's actually got stickers as well which is really cool so just a nice coloring book for him and the last toy i have is this um it's kind of like one of them etch sketches 
this was from Amazon I'll leave this link down below but you can pretty much get them everywhere and it's just one of them boards where you can write on it but this is a coloured one which is really cool so it's got like coloured instead of black and then obviously you can erase it and it also comes with these magnetic little stamps um, I'm not sure I might actually take the stamps off because he does put stuff into his mouth and um, so I see how I will go with that obviously I'm going to be with him at all times because he's going to be on my lap um, but they are quite a small size uh, but again yeah really light and travel friendly and I think he'll really love this I'm also bringing the blankets because blanket is like his little comfort and um hopefully he might go sleep he probably won't but um if he does go sleep he does have his blanket and then the last thing i wanted to show you are these now i am doing a snack box for both ellie and harry's ellie's is probably going to be a lot different to uh, harry's because she can have more sweets than him harry is going to have more kind of like fruit and crisps biscuits that sort of thing um but i got these from home bargains they are medium storage boxes and um, these are used for like fishing and crafts but i'm going to use them to put snacks into um i've seen these everywhere um on like travel hack videos and pinterest and i thought i'll give it a go because it is four and a half hours um and I thought they can also decorate the front with their stickers and um, so they can kind of like personalize it to how they want and basically it just opens up like this and it has all different compartments and it's all kind of divided out but you can also take the dividers out like that you can take the dividers out if you do need like a bigger section um, which is really cool so you can kind of like personalise it to how you want and I might do a separate video on how I'm going to fill this up and what I'm putting inside it so if you'd like to see that please let me know uh, but obviously we've still got eight days to go and um, I'm probably going to do it like the day before or something um, but I will be putting stuff like this into it so I've got these yogurt coated raisins normal raisins um, are going to be putting stuff like uh, mini cheddars uh, fruit anything that's more kind of like child friendly for Harry obviously I will put a few like little chocolate and treats and stuff in there for him and um, but yeah I thought I'd mention that because it will be going in his plain bag and if you'd like to see what we put inside and how we're doing it please let me know because I would film that I would love to film that for you that is everything inside Harry's plain bag let me know if you think I am missing anything don't forget I still need to put a few things in there such as his bottles and uh more dummies things like that his actual nappies wipes spare clothes things like that will be going in Paul's hand luggage um so that will be kind of like more of a changing bag but this is just stuff to entertain him so yeah thank you all so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye